Destiny's Smothers was described by loved ones as a caring, beautiful woman who was an amazing mother to her two young boys. She loved everyone, but she lived her life for her children. She had a bubbly personality, and she was a woman that you could trust with your life. By all accounts, Destiny was a beautiful woman inside and out. In November of 2020, Destiny traveled from Troy, New York to Queens, New York because she was going to attend a funeral for her boyfriend Kareem's grandmother. Soon after arriving, Destiny celebrated her birthday with a few friends at Bowler, a bowling alley on 34th Avenue in Queens. She left the bowling alley at around 11.20 p.m., and the next day, she never came by the house to pick up her clothes for the funeral, the whole reason she came to the city. Kareem, who was with Destiny the night she went missing, would tell her family that they got into a big argument in her car, and Destiny took her purse, keys, and wallet, and she left. Destiny's mother trusted her instincts, as did the rest of the family, and so their frantic search began, taking them everywhere from Pennsylvania to Maryland to the sides of every highway, and even reaching out to a spiritualist, as they expected the worst. Destiny was reported missing by her family on November 8th of 2020, but answers wouldn't come for another four months. On March 10th of 2021, a Toyota Camry with no plates was found abandoned at the intersection of 134th Avenue in Jamaica, Queens. A tow truck driver found the car and in the trunk were Destiny's decomposing remains. Some reports stated Destiny died from a vicious blow to the head, but other reports state that she had been brutally shot. As her family feared, the man responsible for the heinous killing was Kareem Flake, he was on the run for more than a year. He was arrested on April 9th of this year in a Florida train station because he was being investigated for a domestic dispute with another woman out there. He was extradited back to New York to face charges on murder. This case bore many similarities to the high profile case of Gabby Petito. Both girls from New York traveling with their significant others who were slain and the men in their lives were being hunted down. Except when it came to destiny, the case went radio silent. Meanwhile, the Petito case drew widespread nationwide coverage, even in different parts of the world. Although the man who did this to Destiny was apprehended, the question is, why wasn't the same respect given to Destiny's family? Why did they have to beg for answers at every turn? Even after Brian Laundrie was found deceased, the news went on for months talking about his notebook. While many never even knew the name Destiny Smothers, the woman whose life was reduced to a few short headlines and overshadowed when this case needed the nation's attention the most. But destiny will always mean the world to her family and those close to her. She'll never be forgotten. Here, she won't be overshadowed. May she rest in peace. And may many more know the name Destiny Smothers.